it's, it's the classic sort of thing that er everyone is an artist when they're a kid and life circumstances and education and place will alter that or sort of not you know and we i think i think we all do actually have a lot of a lot of it in us but as someone who sort of works as an artist um, you're kind of in that flux all the time. It's, 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 there's no such thing as a nine to five. It's, you're sleeping in it, you're dreaming of it the whole time, you know. Um, I grew up um, in Castlebar, but uh, my grandparents had a, had a farm sort of at the butt of uh, Nathan Mountain. So a lot of my summers were sort of spent there. And, um, and, and even when I was a teenager, I used to sort of just paint landscapes and sell them on the streets in, in, <laughs> in Westport. I went to college originally in GMIT years ago, like 1995, I think. And then I um, finished my degree then in Sligo, was there for a year or so. And then I went and did my postgraduate in Belfast. After that, then I lived in uh, Galway again for a little while. I was teaching a little bit in college, um, moved to Limerick for a year, taught there as well. I was kind of in a bit of a teaching run sort of from, from early on. And then I got, um, I guess the, the travel bug, I decided to kind of just at the age of 28, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll move to Asia. The call of adventure, I think it was. Um, and I only really intended on staying, I think, for about maybe a year or two, but I ended up still staying 11 years. So even now, when I kind of think about it, I, I realize that most of my creative career has been in Asia. I, I think where you are or where you've been has a very direct kind of living influence or whatever you do anyway. So I had, even when I was in college, been looking at kind of um, Asian sort of ink painting for years anyway. So even when I was younger, it was sort of an influence and it was maybe part of an interest of kind of moving over there in the first place. And I suppose if you're looking through some of the paintings I've been doing, there is a lot of that kind of, there's a kind of a planar kind of space that you get in ink painting where there's, you know, you have a, the perspective is different to Western painting where you have kind of foreground kind of objects. You've got this kind of mist and softened edges and then a, another plane. So, so it's kind of a planar kind of space and also very reduced in color as well. I think landscape has always sort of been there from sort of quite young and it sort of developed then when I moved to kind of Hong Kong, I think. And Hong Kong, the environment of Hong Kong being very dense um, with sort of, you know, population and seven million people and sort of air pollution and all that stuff kind of physically weighs on you over time. With that amount of people, there's pressure for land resources. Um, so, uh, like I remember at one point there was a, I think it was a politician on the radio who had suggested to kind of just concrete over the harbour because we just need more building space. And, and you would sort of see things even when you go on a hike, your hike is always on a concrete path of some form or another. So, so your connection to nature, and I always felt that when I was there, um, was kind of, it was always difficult. A lot of the feelings I have about kind of nature anyway centered kind of really around using trees as a kind of a fulcrum point to kind of like explore around that. I'd initially thought I'm going to start making paintings but I ended up sort of like just recording little bits of music. I kind of grew up with music in our family so that influence has, has kind of always been in my life. We've played guitar since we were young so I, I started kind of structuring it around a kind of a legendary guardian tree of Ireland which is kind of a folklore thing called Yomuna. Yeah, I mean, Yomuna was apparently the, was the name of this kind of guardian tree and there were five of them in Ireland. They were connected to kind of kings and stewardship of the land. So it just sort of felt like, like that, that's, that's a viewpoint that I can kind of use for it. And I ended up calling the piece kind of Yomuna's Lament, which also was connecting into a sort of, a, I guess, a kind of a, you know, a sad or a lamenting kind of look at how landscape has been used or our relationship to it. Uh, and just feelings that I've had, I suppose, for, for years, really, I suppose, since moving to Hong Kong. Um, that you know the, the world is you know where our population is growing our resources are dwindling things are going on fire and it's you know it's, it's a bleak kind of scenario um, so so there's 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 touches of that kind of darkness I think in the film that I was making and then through that then as well they started influencing how I was starting to make paintings And I, I tried to take photographs that are related to painting and that have similar qualities, qualities of like kind of like touch of weight, of kind of like light, um, of edges that soften and harden and all these kind of things. So I'm always trying to make photographs that have a feeling like they've come from a painting. Exhibitions that I've made, I've always centered them around painting and that's always been for me the, the, the heart of what I do um, and still is. But I, I think with this um, commission and connecting it to the Tree Festival, it's sort of, it's just opened up an avenue that I've kind of often left to the side. So, you know, I, I've actually kind of been really engaged in making this kind of film and, and just constructing the music for it. And I'm thinking very much when I'm making music, um, in a painterly form. I'm trying to think about creating a kind of a space, whether it's a psychological space, uh, whether it's a sort of a physical space or an imagined space. I'm thinking in the same terms. 
an artist's job is to kind of notice what's in the peripheral vision and to kind of and to kind of make that a thing that you chase you know where it doesn't matter what kind of art form you're in um you know me being sort of a painter and maybe an occasional musician um but whatever you do you're trying to you're just you're just trying to kind of um respond to the qualities of life that you live and just to bring that to other people's attention or to your own attention there you go